Okay. AW Rampage beats WWE SmackDown on FS1 in one demographic. Tie SmackDown in other key demos. Viewership up from last week. Now, if you're a basic fan, you're going to think, Wow, AW has beaten WWE SmackDown. After SmackDown got an additional 30-minute time slot. So, I think SmackDown ran, ran for 2 hours and 30 minutes in FS1. And that 30 minutes overlapped with Rampage. And Tony Khan was hyping it up. But if we read the article, if we read the article, it says here in the way below, total viewership, SmackDown dropped from the usual 2.2 million range to 866,000, a substantial drop off which shows built in advantage WWE has by being on the Fox broadcast network instead of cable network each week. So, last October, SmackDown dropped to 881,000 total viewers when they were bumped to FS1. So, the viewership took a hit from SmackDown. They were averaging 2 million. A week when they're on Fox, but this time they were on FS1. It went down to 881,000. Now, here's the key that most wrestling news outlets are not saying. Huh? Not saying much. Here is something that they are not highlighting. No one, including. AW's leader Tony Khan anticipated Ravage drawing more viewers than SmackDown overall. They probably actually expected to take a hit because of the 30 minute overlap by the expanded. SmackDown could have pulled viewers away from Rampage, who otherwise would watch. Instead, total viewership rose from 578,000 from 502,000 last week. Although it's still the second lowest viewership for the series since it premiered on August 13. Yes, there was an increase. It means SmackDown did not, wasn't able to pull out some viewers. I think most of people stayed up late to watch AEW, I guess. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that the news outlets are not saying. Okay, look at this. SmackDown got 886,000. AW got 578,000. So, in totality, AW was beat by WWE in Friday night in the 30 minute overlap. 866,000 is still greater than 578. 8,000. And that is not something that wrestling content creators are highlighting. They always highlight the demo. Since when was the demo the important part? Okay? Sure, AW got the demo. The demographic in this time. But if you really think about it, WWE doesn't care about the 1849 demographic. No, they are a PG show. They're more inclined on the 13-year-olds, you know, not the 18-year-olds. And overall, 866,000 is a far greater number than 578,000. The demographic is just an excuse from AEW to say that they won the ratings war. But in fact, it, it is still WWE that is r winning the ratings war. Okay? It's like this. It's They're really being specific on that status. It's like, yeah man, I drew 378 people on my show. What you got, boy? And then the other guy said, Yeah, you drew 378, I drew 276. But out of those 276, I got 100 people of the age 18 to 49 watching my show. And you only got like 
10 people watch it, 10 people in the age of 18 to 49 watching your show. So I still beat you. You see what I'm getting? They're really just, they're just really manipulating the media in AW's favor because the only stat they that they can see, that one particular stat that they can see is the demographic. And since the de in the demographic AEW can beat WWE, they are proclaiming that AEW won. But in actuality, AEW can beat SmackDown in the ratings department. So that is my opinion. Good night. Goodbye. Bang.